Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Russian President Vladimir Putin met on Tuesday in Moscow. Pashinyan said their meeting was productive. I met with Russian President Vladimir Putin today. Meeting was very productive. We discussed the bilateral agenda and the situation in the region. We will continue contacts to implement the agreements reached, Pashinyan tweeted Tuesday evening. This was the fourth meeting of the leaders of the two countries this year. Among other issues, the sides discussed Nagorno-Karabakh too. Other details are not known yet. Azerbaijani President Hamaliyev demands from Russian peacekeepers to prevent the illegal entry of foreign citizens to Karabakh. He said this in an interview with La Repubblica Daily of Italy. Aliyev expressed satisfaction with the activities of Russian peacekeepers in Nagorno-Karabakh, Artsakh. The war ended about a year ago, and Russian peacekeepers are stationed in Azerbaijan in the Karabakh region. The situation is stable during this period, except for a few minor incidents, and we are generally satisfied, he said. At the same time, however, Aliyev expressed hope that the Russian side will prevent the illegal entry of foreign citizens to Karabakh. In particular, there is a question about foreigners who need to get permission from Azerbaijan to visit Azerbaijani territories which are under the responsibility zone of Russian peacekeepers, said Ilham Aliyev. Ibrahim Kalan, spokesperson for the President of Turkey, spoke on the topics of the upcoming Biden-Erdogan meeting. Cullen told Milliet Daily that the main topics of the Biden-Erdogan meeting at the G20 summit will be bilateral ties, Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Nagorno-Karabakh, Libya and major regional developments. Armenian and Indian foreign ministers have discussed the possibility of transit via the Chabahar port of Iran. The distance and insufficiency of sea and land roads are an obstacle for contacts and economic and trade cooperation between our countries, said Visiting Minister of External Affairs of India Subramanyam Jai Shankar at Wednesday's joint news conference in Yerevan with his Armenian colleague Arat Mirzoyan. According to him, the trade agreement with Eurasia is currently being discussed and also take into account Armenia's agreement with the European Union. The Indian official noted the importance of communications as well. Diplomatic and political ties between Iran and Armenia have always been very good, visiting Iranian Prosecutor General Mohammad Jafar Montazari said after his meeting in Yerevan with Armenian Prosecutor General Artur Davtian. According to Montazari, the cooperation between Iran and Armenia should be at the highest level, and there are preconditions for that. Armenia and Iran have confirmed that the terrorists spotted on our borders are by no means tolerable. The terrorists must disappear as soon as possible. We can take drastic steps, but I hope that before that, the neighboring countries themselves will start resolving the issue, the Iranian Prosecutor General noted. As of Wednesday morning, 1,217 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 275,077 in the country, NewsAM has learned from the National Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Also, 28 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 5,646 cases. (music) 